Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Watson Michael from Ceylon Institute of English and Leadership. And today we have with us one of 90's biggest martial arts stars and he has acted in several films. So he's Jalal Merhi and let me give an introduction about him, a brief introduction. So Jalal Merhi is recognized worldwide as a premier action film producer, director, after successfully delivering over 20 films worldwide within a decade and numerous short film projects. Born in Brazil from Lebanese parents, Jalal immigrated to Canada to study. Due to lack of funds, worked for his uncle in the gem trade industry while studying film and production. But eventually he built his own extension of his family jewelry business in Canada, keeping his sport of competitive martial art on one side also keeping his eye on his true love filmmaking. Therefore, in 1988, created Film One and worked in both business, but in 1991, decided to focus on one thing only. He sold his share in a building in downtown Toronto and sold his jewelry business with some additional investment from his diamond dealers, he used the funds to buy a building for Film One Studio. From its inception, 1988, Jalal Mary's company, Film One, has carved its niche in the lucrative action genus, producing and starring in Tiger Claws, Talents of the Eagle, Expect No Mercy, The Circuit, and many more. Jalal's commitment to high production values is evident on the screen, but had his commercial savvy and organization skills are what make him one of Canada's most profit prolific and successful producers. Jalal started his martial arts with Taekwondo and then second Dan in Shotokan, then master in Choi Le Foot and Hunga and entered over 150 tournament with a great deal of success, placing in each and every one. That is when a producer approached him, the movie never started, but Jalal got to know many other people with influence and his career was born. He has since worked with martial arts legends such as Bolo Yuang, Cynthia Rothrock, and Billy Banks, James Huang, Jamie Farr, Oliver Grunner. In addition, other legendary actors such as David Carradine, James Hong, Jamie Farr, and Priscilla Barnes. He has grown to be a martial arts choreographer and director. The last 30 years has produced and directed over 23 films and over 200 TV episodes. So, um, we have Jalal with us. Uh, hi, Jalal. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. And how about you? Wonderful. Can't complain. Great. So we'll start with the first question. You sold a jewelry shop in order to pursue a career in the film industry. How comfortable were you doing that? Very comfortable. Um, because uh -huh. life, we're living it. And if we're blessed with something we love, I think we should focus on it. And to me, it wasn't the money I was after. It was doing what I love. Yeah. And if you do what you love, you're not working. So I had no problem doing uh -huh. it. Uh, it. It was good feeling for me. Great, great. Excellent. And um, could you tell us, because uh, what keeps you motivated? The audience usually, and the, the thing about entertainment, as long as your product is selling, it means someone is paying to see it. And if yes. someone is paying yes. to see it, it means someone wants to see it. And I think the audience keeps me going. Definitely you'll have you know positive reaction and negative reaction, uh -huh. but the positive outweighs the negative. So I go for the positive. I never, uh, if I look at the negative, it's just to see what I could fix certain things it's negative just because people are negative. So that's okay. their problem. I do not let it affect me. Excellent, excellent. I mean, that's something which uh, all of us should learn. I mean, uh, we should ignore negativity. So uh, based on that, I mean, like as an actor and a producer, you're subject to negativity at times. So how do you deal with such kind of negativity? Negativity comes from different aspects. It comes in from lack of performance from yourself or others and comes in from other negative feelings and jealousy and mm -hmm. the intention of harming you. 
so the idea is not to allow them to get into you uh to me i never bring negativity home i never came home angry from work i never came home upset um i was always feeling that i'm blessed for whatever positive happened that day uh, so the try not to dwell on on it try not to but what you try to do see what you could resolve anything you can't resolve it's the problem of whoever created it not you really? but as for business dealings believe me uh i had many no's before i had a single yes wow i mean people tell you no a hundred times but yes. i only hear the yes that i hear one time and that yes is enough fuel for me to move forward uh be it in the film industry or be it in the jewelry industry i remember the jewelry industry even i was 20 years old taking merchandise trying to go from store to store and many stores never even opened the door like they have buzzers on the door they wouldn't even open the door to let me in to show them what i could sell but if one store in 20 opened the door that was enough for me to sell something that day and move forward to the next one definitely so so just be persistent. You will get to it. Excellent. I mean, like, um, it's very inspiring the way you said that. It's very inspiring. So uh, these days, um, we find usually many people complaining about life, that they don't have time for things. I mean, having time, they always say they don't have time for things. So what is your message, like, for them to stay positive and, like, chase their dreams, like... I, I don't know. Whoever complains about time, that's their problem. I'm not sure what they're trying to do, especially people who don't do anything. <laughs> they always never have time. Uh, I believe always give, if you have a job to do or yes. get done, give it to people who are busy. People who are busy get things done because they plan things. Uh, you manage your time wisely. And again, you have to, you cannot take a whole cake and want to eat it in one shot. Yeah. Time is just like that cake. What you do is you take a piece of that cake and you chew on it and you eat that one shot at the time. So if you manage your time wisely and you manage your project wisely, there is always time to do things. And eventually oh. there are 365 days a year. So if every day you achieve something, every day you learn one word, mm -hmm. you learn a lot eventually absolutely wise words very wise words i mean that's something true so for all these people like who are complaining they don't realize that they have 365 days i mean like it's like you're carrying the burden always on your head yeah right so and um could you let me know since uh, you uh you have produced so many films and you have acted and uh, what how important is teamwork in order to achieve something great because we see uh, companies these days like most companies don't have teamwork and there are a lot of people who don't have teamwork so what is your advice for them about teamwork teamwork is important i mean is, i had to learn it myself the hard way because i'm a person that does everything and tries to do everything initially yes but when i got into film industry i found this different than jewelry industry Okay. In during this, it was my personal strive. And then I hired workers eventually to do the work for me. Uh, but it wasn't on the scope of film. Once I got into film, I realized I have tens of people and sometimes hundreds of people on set. Now, if you don't have a proper chain of command and teamwork and team leaders that you can trust and work with, mm -hmm. and same time, you have to verify, but not be tough. You have to be strong with them, but not be negative with them. You cannot yeah. yell orders. You cannot scream at people. You cannot belittle people who work for you. Because if you belittle them, mm -hmm. you won't have them as a team. They become puppets and they become slaves. Mm -hmm. And slaves will not create. You need people who are creators around you. So what you do is you give everyone their respect but if they don't perform, you get rid of them, you get others that will perform. So to create teamwork, you need to make sure there is no boss in a way. It's not boss. There is a team leader. There are people below him, people who are doing it, and everyone has to do their job. And if you find it's a chain, and if you find one link is weak, you got rid of it. You try to help it. If it doesn't perform, you get rid of it. You bring somebody else. So everyone has to perform as a team. Otherwise, projects will collapse. Absolutely. I mean, very wise words. So for all those who are, who are watching, 
just learn from Jalal about the importance of teamwork. He's well experienced, so he's giving his advice because he learned everything the hard way. And um, Jalal, uh, just one final question. So um, what is the message that you can give to all the people who want to chase their dreams? Something, uh, maybe you can give a short story or something of how and you can tell us. Uh, dreams have to be reasonable. That's very important. But mm -hmm. you cannot not dream. Like to me, simple things. Uh, when I was a kid and I came from Brazil at age six, seven years old, went to Lebanon. My grandparents had farms and they had orchards of olives and grapes and figs and whatever. And as a kid, you're looking into everything. You're loving it. So I went to school. But when I would be riding the donkey from our house to the orchards, I always was dreaming of something. My dreams were not to be rich, like wealthy. It was not the money. But my dreams were to try to achieve something. Uh, I was even at one time trying to think of building a plane, a jet, whatever it is, how it is. I used to love comics a lot. Mm -hmm. And I would, whatever money my parents would give me to go to school, I would walk instead of taking a bus. I would walk, I would uh, not buy lunch so I could go buy magazines. Wow. So that expanded my mind in a lot of ways. So going into it, uh, then we would go and sometimes have to leave at midnight the village to go to the shores, to the big city of Beirut uh, on the edge to try to sell the grapes. So I'll okay. be riding a donkey with the stuff go sell. As I'm writing the whole night, I'm thinking, and dreaming and my dream was to produce it was not to star in films it was actually to create projects to create films uh now if i would think of it seeing a kid on a donkey trying selling grapes to people you would say does he have a dream can he make it somewhere uh -huh. i did have those dreams and you know what eventually i made it what you have to do is uh, you gotta go to the market where you could achieve those dreams so yes. if you're dreaming of making films, you got to go to where they make films. Absolutely. Learn it. At least go to a school where they teach you how to make films. So you have to learn it. You have to focus on it. You can't say, I couldn't. Because you get to a certain point, you have to focus. You got to go to school for something. So go to school for filmmaking. You got to go to school, uh, try to make a project. Try to get to know people who are making the same projects. True. So making film, if it's film. If it's creating something else, same thing. If it's a computer, you're into computer programming, go to study it and go with people that make computer programs. Get along, like get to know those people. So always never lose your dream, but you cannot dream and sit in a place where you can't achieve it. If you're dreaming, you have to focus. Today, it's a lot easier because today it's online. You yes. could see a lot of videos of how to do. You could see promotional videos. You could buy a good iPhone and make a movie with it. Even a good Samsung phone and make a movie with it today. And it's about the storytelling. So if you're telling the story right, somebody will see it online. You upload it online. Someone will see it and say, oh my gosh, this guy is good filmmaker. They're not going to care how you made it. It's yes. the storyline. It's the action. I've seen a lot of people upload and send me things. Look, I'm a good martial artist. Look what I could do. I look at the action sequence they're doing. It doesn't make sense. They don't have the eye. You know what? You had all month maybe or week to do this on your iPhone. Cut it, edit it. Anything that doesn't work, don't show it. Only show your best side. And eventually someone will see it. Don't lose your faith. Have your dream. Run for it. Like You got to do it. If you don't do it, you won't get it. Superb. I mean, very inspiring words. I mean, thank you very much, Jalal. Thank you so much for taking your valuable time and doing this interview with us. We appreciate it a lot and we'll hope to see you soon. Thanks, Jalal. Take care. Take care. Bye. -bye. Bye.